This will be processor crazy. The Pad Morpheus Matrix. We got LFO one, two, envelope one, LFO one again, all being modulated by different variables. Because we're modulating and modulating because we're in the matrix, dude. Hell. <laughs> Kids, don't do drugs. This is what happens. Hey, this is Brian from Logic Pro X. How's it going? Yo. So today, we're going to do a little bit of uh, ambient, atmospheric, matrix, morpheus, pad, synth. Yep. And we're going to use this guy. It sounds like this. So it's one of these high-end kind of pads that you get that has a lot of movement, a lot of programming, and a lot of matrix kind of stuff going on in the background. Get yourself a new instrument, and we're going to go with XFER. Okay. It's going to sound like this. Yep. Which doesn't sound too good. Bring the volume down about halfway. And the first thing we're going to use is we want to get on here and we're going to enable both oscillators. Yes, that's right. The first one we're going to do is going to get some spectral because you ain't part of the matrix unless you have some spectral shit going on. So here we go. We're going to use monster number two because that one's better than monster number one. Yep. Or just just click on it to change the view. I like this view better. And then we're gonna take the wavetable position. We're just kind of kind of just move it up to taste. I kind of like it in the middle a little bit, almost to the middle. You want it over this little ridge right here. Just get a little something something in there. And then we'll go over here to the uh, other oscillator. And we're gonna do this. Fet add seconds. And it's in the digital right there. And we'll just click on it. We'll go back over to the monster one. We're going to take this up to maybe three or five unison and kick the blend up a little bit. Something like that. There we go. And then we're going to turn our phasing down. Level a little bit. Leave the pan alone. And then we're going to take this guy right here and we're going to put it with just regular sync. It's this one that says sync no window. There we go. And see what we have right now. That sounds kind of groovy. All right, now while uh, thinking about it, since it's going to be a pad sound, we're going to go over here to envelope one. And we're going to kind of tweak this guy a little bit. So we're going to have a little bit of something, something. Kind of like a pad a little bit, like that. Yeah, long attack. 1.51, something like that. No hold. And the decay is going to be around almost two, 1.98, something like that. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, you could just somewhere in or between there. And the sustain is going to be uh, about uh, a negative four. Something like that. 4.6, whatever. I'm not really caring about the values because the thing is, is you're unique when you have your own values. Okay? Don't be trying to be like everybody else. Create your own shit. All right. And on the release, we're going to have a long release around 600 milliseconds something like that six seven hundred milliseconds you see what it sounds like right now yeah 
that's starting to shape up real good. Here's the nice icing on the cake here. Let's go ahead and just, before I think about it, let's change this guy right here. We're gonna do like an FM. And it's FM sub. We'll put FM sub right there. Just kind of tweak it up just a little bit. If you give us a little bit of subbiness. Something like that. There we go. And then we're going to take our level down a little bit. Say there's sub. So you could adjust that level of your subbiness right there. Uh, oh, yeah. And we need some filter going on here. Go ahead and do this, but we're going to do the French filter because, you know, those guys are just awesome when they do their filters. French LP. There you go. Put our cutoff right about right here. Tweak our resonance all the way up here. And uh, bah, 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 bah. get a little bit of drive because we need to drive it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we need some bell wolf. Yeah, we got some bell wolf in there. Yeah, put the mix up. Uh huh. We're gonna put her on for a sailor A and B. Yep, yep, yep. And we gotta check that little end mark. Mm -hmm. This end will actually route this noise to the filter too. Check this out. Let's play it a little bit. See what we got. kind of nasally like a French person, isn't it? Maybe that's why they call it a French LP. All right, now let's go ahead and just put our, our noise in here and we're gonna go in and we're gonna put, find this atmospheric, if we could find it, atmosphere. 18 sounds pretty good, but you could switch it up. You could use whatever you want. Just mess around with it. I like 18. And then we're gonna, see this little keyboard thing here? This means that it's actually gonna pitch along with the keyboard. It's going to stay in tune with the keyboard when you hit that little keyboard icon. So that's kind of nice. We'll tweak our level up a little bit more. Get some more out of it there. There you go. And maybe put our little pitching down a little bit. We could play with that later. Pan. I think that's good. Let's see what it sounds like now. Oh yeah, that sounds real good. Okay, so I think we got, I got some something, something in there. Let's go ahead and let's work on envelope two here. Now this is what we're gonna use to, we're actually gonna use the envelope two for the filter cutoff modulation. So and this is how we're gonna do it. 2.8 on the attack. Do, 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 do. Something around 2. That's good. 212, 2.8. Something like that. As you know, long as you get it just above 2. No hold. And the uh, decay, we're going to increase the decay to like 2 something as well. 245, 2, two and a half, whatever. 258, that's good enough. Sustain, we're going to bring the sustain down to like oh, 50%. 59, that's good. The release, it's going to be about 400 and something. 408, 453, yeah, that's good. And then let's go over and let's modulate that bitch. Let's go over here in the uh, matrix section. We'll start working on the matrix section here. All right, for the first source, I'm just kind of doing this out of order here because it took me a while to build this thing and, and I'm kind of copying down from my other synth. So, yeah, please excuse me. I can't, I can't remember this shit from memory. All right, first one is going to be the Alpha one, just go ahead and just put that in there. I don't think it really matters what order you use it in, as long as you have this destination and, and the ox source and all that correct. But I'm gonna just go like this and then LFO two, it's gonna be our next source. And then we're gonna do envelope one, then LFO one again, then velocity. Velocity rhymes with Trinity. It's definitely groovy with the Morpheus pad. And then we got envelope two again. What oh, did I use envelope two? Yeah, here's the one where we're gonna do envelope two. And then after envelope two, we're gonna also do another one it's called LFO four. And then we're also gonna program an LFO one again. 
Yeah, there, there's no real order. You could do LFO one like three times here, however you want to order it. it doesn't really not really matter which way you go with this thing. But those are all the modulations I'm going to be using. Oh no, I lied to you. LFO four one, and then we do four again. This is a big one. And then after four, we do four again. <laughs> the dog just going ape shit up there. Probably, probably heard a neighbor outside taking, taking for a walk late at night. Four, one, four, three. There we go. Oop. LFO three. You got three more. That'd be four. Another one. LFO four. And LFO four. All right. So we got all these in there. And let's go ahead. Let's program them in. The first one is going to be wavetable position. We're going to go. For oscillator A, wavetable position. Where are you? Wavetable. There we go. And the next one is going to be a fine, a fine looking woman. A fine. Right there. Next one is LFO to rate. Because we're modulating a modulating because we're in the matrix, dude. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Modulating the modulating. So it's LFO to LFO to rate. There we go. Phil Stereo is the next one. Uh -huh. mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Filter Stereo. The next two are filter cutoffs for velocity and envelope two. Filter cutoff. There we go. Because we're going to cut it off. Filter cutoff. There we're going to go. Hey, you know what? It's time for a break. A drink break. There we go. A good break. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that's good. Mm. Okay, keep on moving along, trucking along. Mm. Um, mm -mm -mm. two cutoffs because we cut it off. Uh, B wavetable position for LFO four. Wavetable position. Okay, LFO one. Is fill stereo, filter stereo. L4. It's actually going to be noise pan. There we go. LFO3 rate. LFO3 rate. Because we're modulating and modulating. Because we're in the matrix. Dude, we are the Morpheus pad. Yeah. And the next one is B volume. Because. We gotta be more volume. And. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. B volume. Right, right in front of me. Okay. And the next one after B volume is B pan, B octave, B pan, B pan. And then we got B octave. B octave. Yeah, yeah. And the last one is B semi because we're going to roll it over in a semi truck. Mm. And that is it. That is all we got program. That's all. Yeah, seriously. That's all. Okay. So now let's make this a little bit bigger. There we go. There goes that dog again. <laughs> Cracks me up. All right. Next thing we're going to, this is where, that makes the pad kind of cool is we're only going to do the amount like a little bit. This one's like 42. You can actually put double click on it and put 42, 41, 42. doesn't matter. 18 is the next one. Oh. This one, you don't really want that much because it's, it's the fine amount. You just only want a little tiny bit. The next one will be eight. Okay. The next one will be envelope is eight. There we go. There we go. And then this one is minus 49. There we go. And velocity is going to be 12. There we go. 
and then envelope two to filter cutoff. Could be nine. Yep. L4 to B wavetable position. Could be 22. Something like that. There we go. And then LFO1 to noise pan. 84, so we're going to jack that bitch up. Somewhere around there, 81, 84, it doesn't matter. L4 to LFO rate. It's going to be 32. Something like that. LFO3 to B volume. It's going to be 45. Sounds like I'm playing bingo. LFO3 to B volume is 45. LFO3 to B volume is 45. LFO3. There we go. Bingo. And then LFO4 to B pan. It's 45 as well. Double click on it. And then LFO4 to B octave is 100. So that's going to be full. And then LFO4 to B semi is negative 100. All right. We got them all in there. All done. That's a nice way to program. Do it all in one shot. If we go over here, you could see. And then this one right here was just make sure that we put our level back down. Something like there, because that's been automated now by the thing. We go over here to L3. And we're going to mess with this guy a little bit. Gonna make him something like saw up and down curved, and then move that guy down a little bit, something like that, something like that. Yep, and then double click to put a point, move it down, something like that. Double click again, get another point in there. Like that, there we go, and then bring this guy down, something like that. So we got a little jaggedness saw there going on, and that's going to be our LFO three source. Be affecting that over and here. Did we get LFO three in there somewhere? I can't remember. Yeah, right there. It's going to affect our volume, and then four. This is our LFO4 source. And this one, we want something going up and down, some jaggedness, a bit crazy. So the one I want, you could use this one right here if you don't have it. But what I'll do is I'll put in a link. You can actually download the LFO pattern or if you just want to make it. But the one I'm using, it's a user custom one. Then what we want is... LFO4, and we want is, and I'll upload that some more so you don't have to. But basically, it's just up and down jaggedness with score things on it on the top. There we go. And my friends, one last thing. We'll put a little bit more poliness in there. Go up to like 12. We're going to really jack up that processor. And I'll get maybe get up to 96. See what it sounds like now. Almost forgot this, but make sure that this is going both ways. And then this one right here is going both ways. This one's going that way, which is fine. The next one is going both ways. Filter cut off. It's going that way. That's fine. The filter cut off again. It's going that way. That's fine. The B wave table position. It's going both ways. And the noise pan is going both ways. So just click. There we go. LFO3 rate. It's 
going both ways. There we go. The B volume is going that way. That's fine. The B pan is going both ways. B octave is going that going that way. That's fine. And the B semi is going that way. That's fine too. So now we should be able to hear something that sounds halfway decent. Something like that. Let's see what it sounds like now. This one, we're going to do trigger. Turn off the BPM and the this this LFO anchor. Turn that off. And then let's go back over here. Make sure this is turned off too. Those are turned off. And then kind of just tweak this down to like 0.2 hertz. Nothing there, nothing there. Off, eight, grid. There we go, smooth. And then go over here to three. This one's gonna be 0.6, very little amount. The rest is zero, zero, and this is going to be 13 smooth. Okay, so now let's try it out. Yeah, we're getting there. Let's go over to two. Make sure this is turned off. All these are turned off. We go 2.1. And then zero, zero, zero for the rest of them. Go LFL1 and make sure that the only thing we want is this anchor. And we're going to just put like 0.3 or something. Just barely something. And the rest is 0, 0. See what it sounds like. There we go. It was just a little too fast, so I just had to tweak those LFOs to get up a little higher in the octave range. Yeah, that sounds good. And need a break. Now let's work on the FX. Go over here. Each one I build always sounds different. No two are like, that means you're unique. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do hyper, chorus, delay, and reverb. You can drag them up wherever you want. You can do something like this. Now for the hyper, just gonna do it like a little bit of a mix. Detune, maybe just tweak that up a little bit. The rate will be around 24%, something like that. The tune is around 37, 40, something like that. The mix is 68% wet, some are 70. And for unison, you can leave that as default. The size, size is going to be 68%. And the mix is going to be around 50%. It's hyper. Now, for the chorus, you're going to leave as default. You don't really need to do anything with the chorus. The delay, uh, do a one eighth on the left side here. And the right side, it could be one half. And we'll leave the BPM on. BPM on. And you can leave default for the feedback. And be normal and you could tweak this guy down something like that put this up to four like that tweak it down a little bit and then just kind of take it in the middle just kind of scoping them making like a little big mountain out there and halfway mix something like that and then for the reverb 
size, you, know, you can just tweak it up about 40%. Decay, you can leave that default, low cut, don't need that. High cut, you just turn that up halfway. Damping, you can just leave that as default. And the, and we make sure it's plate, or you can do hall, it doesn't really matter. And a plate for the width, it's, this is weird bug right here. It should say width. I don't know why it says spin depth, but it should say width and just turn that thing all the way up. And the mix are going to be about something like that. There we go. That's weird. So the yeah, there we go. The width, and then make something like that. Now let's see what we've got. And we're gonna need to turn our volume really down because this thing is like super loud. So something like like minus twenty four dB. So that sounds pretty cool. And then we can go ahead and put, send this out to reverb. I have a really nice reverb and I'm using the new EOS 2. Here it is, the new EOS 2. This is a reverb that I kind of tweaked from the plate one default setting. And I just kind of just maxed out the mix and I tweak the high cut and low cut and the diffusion. And that's all I really did. You can see my settings there. The other thing I did is since it's so low, it's not really going to get so much reverb into the, the signal here. So I went in here and I kind of just made it pre-fader and then do it this way. So that way I get more signal into the reverb. Now listen to this guy. Let's just turn it out a little bit more because it jacks up the volume. Yeah, F you, logic. God dang it. That's the bad thing about when you run ScreenFlow, my recording screen program, and you're trying to run Serum, which is a processor intensive. This setting here is going to be very processor intensive. So your DSP, if you have a weak computer like I do, your DSP is going to go all Yankee crazy. Okay. So rebel crazy. It's going to go all rebel crazy and go all nuts. So just keep in mind that this thing is going to be very processor intensive. This in itself is its own music machine. So We could actually go into the global and we could turn off. We can go like down to one X draft and that'll kind of lighten the processor load. Yeah, it, it changes the quality of the setting, so. But I don't really think it's gonna matter for this video. And if we take the noise off or if we take it down a little bit, I feel like it's just a little too much noise. Let's we'll see what it sounds like now. Oh, yeah. Kind of creepy, but cool. Oh, that's nice. It's 
So turn it up a little bit. This will be processor crazy. So just keep that in mind. And we'll just turn down the resonance just a little bit on here. Maybe just a little too high and just kind of bring down the cutoff a little bit more. There we go. The cool thing with this pad synth that we just built, there's so many variables that you could play with and get different sounds. Like we could go up on the wavetable here and then go up on the wavetable position over here and we can get a totally different kind of sound. Oh yeah, that sounds nice. just right click on this guy and move him to like alpha one and then get our alt key just kind of let's just do this there we go something like that Hello, this is P. Please go back down. Oh, that sounds so cool. And then, it was just for the kicks of it, bring this guy over here. So we're modulating, and modulating, and modulating. <laughs> Let's see what happens now. Yeah. Definitely sounds like Morpheus now. And then, Let's bring this guy up a little bit more. Get some more in there, put maybe some more of that. I know, I'm just playing with it now. And the cool thing is we can change the wave patterns from to thirds and we can even get a even cooler sound. So let's see what it sounds like now. It's slightly different. Let's go go to the fourth. Just add some blending on it. I'm really going to kill the processor now. My computer is just smoking. <laughs> mm. ah. 
Okay, let's try it again. Animal. <laughs> Give some uh, character to that one. It's kind of nice. A little After Effects in that one. I got to turn up the reverb a little bit more. Oh, I like this one. It's a saver. Go ahead and save that one. Pad Morpheus 2. And there we go. Yes, do you want? Yes. We put it all together and we can up this guy. Bring him down here. Yes, I have a monitor up there that I look at. That's kind of like this. Yeah, I'm weird like that. And we just go ahead and bring it up to Pat Morpheus 2. Where are you? Let's see what it sounds like now. And let's go ahead and drop this down. So what you hear over here is I have a sidechain compressor going to sidechain 32, which is a bus. And we go over to here, to here, and we have a little Klefgeist set this way, like that. And there's, it's routed to bus 32. And then we go over to bus 32. You can see it says no output, nothing. So that, that is what we want. But it's still signing, sending signal. And we go back to our compressor over here. It receives that signal. And what I do is I actually have two of them. But this one, name it this way. This one is actually doing the reverb. And it is off. Look at that. See, it's off. And then we go to this one. See how it's on the other side. So when we put them both together on both pads, so this one's doing the, uh, this one right here, and then the reverb, which is this one right over here, is going, it's going there. So then if we put it like that, it sounds like this. Go, boom, boom. Something like that. And then I know that there's going to be some a-hole that says, well, you could just put it for all of them on one. But I'm like, no, because the reverb, it just sounds cooler that way. Okay, just shut up, man. I know what I'm doing. So that is the Morpheus pad. And we put it all together. Sounds like this.
That's a wrap. Remember, my friends, big revenge. Mm-hmm.